Hello guys, John with you again and it's time now for another quick update. Yes, quick update, that's all I'm doing lately is little quick updates until I get everything sorted and uh, you know, get my sort of camera being able to sync in with the laptop. Uh, unfortunately I don't have a laptop, all I'm using is this yoke here which is a Chromebook. Now Chromebooks are absolutely fabulous little yokes, they really are. But uh, for what I want it for, for doing videos and for uploading videos and all that kind of thing, they're absolutely freaking useless because I've got to do everything in the one in the one um, the one shot so that's why it's all quick uh, updates because I can't put put things together because you can't get an editing software for a Chromebook because all it is apps now you can get uh, I mean I've downloaded a couple of them these what they're they're calling them is uh, editing apps but uh, they just don't work they don't seem to they don't work properly at all at all and the more you kind of Google search and get info and things like that, you basically find out that you can't really do it. So um, I've got to kind of upgrade my, uh, my my computer system. My computer system has to be updated. Um, if you go onto the Facebook page there, there's JMSM on Facebook. It's a group build, group, uh, sorry, the uh, Facebook group. Okay, we're doing a group build. We'll talk about that as well at the end of the vid this video. But, um, there's a link there to a GoFundMe page where I'm trying to update all the uh, the things in the channel. So I can be basically upgrade my camera, upgrade the uh, computer system, lighting, and all that, and just make the uh, the whole experience much much better, a little bit more professional. Not too professional. I don't want to get too professional, um, but uh, you know, be able to see proper colors and things like that because. With, when you're using things like a, a webcam, which is what I use, y y you get it okay. You don't get the proper colours and things like that, and you can't really uh, get. It takes ages for it to um, to zoom in properly and, and all that kind of thing. Well, not really zoom in, but to uh, to, to to focus properly. It just it just takes a little bit too long. Now I'm after uh, upgrading part one. I'm after getting a new camera, I bought a new DSLR camera, so thanks to anybody that has subscribed so far. Um, I used uh, some of my own funds mixed with uh, the few donations that were given on the, uh, the, the GoFundMe page and there just before Christmas I purchased a DSLR camera, a Canon, a nice little job. But unfortunately even that it can't be linked up to the Chromebook just for, you know, say even do a bit by bit so um, I'm basically back begging again for people to kind of help to help the channel out a little bit and we can uh, increase the, the, the quality of the uh, the quality of the, the, the videoing anyway whatever about the quality of the actual builds and the quality of the way I speak that is another thing but anyway let's get on with this and stop babbling on about other things when I left you uh, the last video we just had the bogies on the wheels and things we could put another couple of little bits and pieces onto the um, the upper deck but now we're working on the tracks okay now I've got one side done as you can see there one side is all nicely done and I kind of took a shortcut as in I didn't go all the way across why you ask yourself why did I not go all the way across believe it or not it was just too fiddly and awkward and then you know you're not going to get to see anything from there to there anything in the middle up here you're just not going to get to see it so why stress myself out and I've watched a lot of people doing this and um, they kind of leave off the whole top row and uh, never had any problems with it so I decided to go that way with this one um, all the bottom row now are all fitted in nicely as you can see all the wheels all nicely fitted and uh, the track fits in nicely around the drive sprocket fits in nicely around the uh, the idler at the back and uh, I'm quite happy with that so I'll continue carry on now with that and I do the other side already made a start I've got the uh, straight piece for the bottom made okay straight piece now made there for the bottom so all I got to do now is to um, to work on the uh, on, on the link the, the indie links these were uh, pieces of three as in there was three links in each little um, 
block and there's six of those little blocks together so that that saves 18 links doesn't it and it's actually 36 when you think of it all together because each link is made up of two pieces you have a large one and a small one and they fit together and they fit together quite nicely as you can see from around there you know they're very very nice indeed they bend around nicely okay they are very nice tracks indeed okay a little bit of a hiccup with that one but that was me um, I kind of it, it opened slightly when I was bending around and I was only watching the front and uh, when the whole thing was set then I noticed this little piece here where it's slightly out um, I don't know how I'm going to fix that uh, but uh, I will I will be kind of continuing on playing with that what I might do is I, if I can kind of um, use a bit of glue to soften it I don't know whether that will work or not but it's only slightly out you know hopefully the, the, the back or the actually this is the front isn't it yes the front hopefully it'll kind of cover that little link maybe to about there and then I wouldn't be noticed but if it goes up one little bit you can see it there so I'll have to try and play around with that and see can I get it better and just when I'm doing the next one just be a little bit more careful just a little bit more careful no problems around the back purely because of the uh, the, the, the spines in the uh, in, in the drive sprocket they've got the little the, the little uh, spines and the, uh, the the track kind of fits into them so uh, they're much easier to do shall we say uh, so there's not really much else I can say about that except uh, ooh, just have to be careful not to make the same mistake twice you know make this mistake once anybody can make a mistake once but when you make the same mistake twice that's when you start uh, start upsetting things so anybody as well if they do get this kit uh, do be careful in cutting out the smaller parts of the um, the, 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 the Indie links, okay. The indie links you've got. Uh, I, all I do is I'll actually I get the kit, I get the box out. I have it over here. It's easier to show you than rather explain. Um, here we have it, okay. Now there's a couple of the indie links there, and you can see it's made up of two pieces. Now, um, one thing I have found, and it's, it's just a little tip for you if you are going to uh, to make these, release the pressure. Yes, release the pressure. Release the pressure on one side. So basically take out these ones first. Okay, so therefore now the pressure is released on that. And now I can release this side here. Because when it comes to these little ones, only these ones, this little bar here, those bars, they are pretty fragile okay and they will snap and break so be careful in taking them out like I said just relieve the pressure from one side uh, take a snip cut off these ones separately and then cut out a little piece so that you're, you're not um, cutting it out of a solid piece because that's where the problem lies once you cut it'll kind of bend it up a bit and they will they, they can break and you break too many of them and you're, you're kind of uh, your goosed, shall we say, your goosed if you kind of break too many of them. But um, just be careful, just be careful in cutting them out, that's all I can say. So, um, like I said, just to show that you're not going to see most of that track, I cut the side skirt off that goes onto that side. Um, how it fits in there and there. side skirt and as you can see you're not going to get to see anything up there right um, the piece is going to go across straight so you're not going to get to see that so hopefully like I said we're going to miss out on the um, on my mistake up here on this one because the mistake is up much up high and once you cover that that's all the track you're going to get to see so um, 
oh, like I said hopefully I've dodged the bullet in that one but literally that is all the track you're going to get to see so what's the point in building all the track along there unless you want to okay you know uh, if, if you're into that and you can be able to do that then walk away do it but um, as you can see there's no real point to it and uh, I'm happy with the way things are going at the moment. I can get in there and get all that painted and everything else, so I, I'm not really worried too much. Even with the side skirts fitted, I can turn it upside down and get paint in there and just, just, just paint what I can see and uh, not paint what I can't see. So that's going to be that's going to be the way I do it. So anyway, that's uh, that's the quick update, a little kind of an explanation about the tracks and an explanation as to why I've left off the top section of the track. Um, join me in the next the next uh, update where we'll be fitting the uh, out of the top fitted here this piece has to get fitted after the other tracks go on um, I'm going to have to get another little bit of that warp out so it's just the slightest little bit and that will go that will sort itself out once I, once I uh, glue the two sides together but uh, even in gluing the sides together going to have to use a little bit of tape to kind of keep that in place then glue what I can see you know get in there with glue if we can kind of get in there and see we can get in there with glue we can get in here with glue and across under there okay so we can get all that glued in held in place and everything else and then take off the uh, tape and glue the rest of it so uh, that'll kind of keep that up and that'll keep that nice and straight and then we can kind of continue on then with what's left after that so i'm going to go on ahead i'm going to get the last of the uh, the other side of tracks done get the top piece fitted and uh we'll join you for the next the next update also today is friday so uh if you're watching this before 9 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time GMT, get over there and uh, join me for the live stream. I'll be doing a live stream tonight. And uh, if you're watching this later on, as in maybe Saturday or Sunday or even next week, watch the old live streams as well because you can. We get we have a nice little chat where I go. To, I just basically I read the, um, the, the, the 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 what people are saying to me on the chat box and. Uh, we just we just basically have a chat simple as that nothing uh, nothing exciting nothing new or anything like that just a quick chit chat and you can ask questions and uh, we'll try and find answers for them and just general just a bit of general bullshit isn't that what it is? a little bit of general bullshit for a friday evening start your weekend off with a with a bang so anyway lads oh yes i said i'd make make a quick mention of the group build so get over there to the Facebook page, join the, join up the Facebook page, we'll let you in and uh, you can join our group build. Now our group build is in memory of uh, one of our members who passed away there recently. He was one of the first members of the uh, of the Facebook page. He was also one of my sub main subscribers on uh, this, this channel here, the YouTube channel, Paul Smith. And Paul unfortunately passed away there recently with complications due to the COVID. And uh, Paul... Apparently, I introduced Paul to Zvezda. He watched the video I did on Zvezda and watched uh, sort of some of my other videos where I did Zvezda kits and uh, liked my enthusiasm towards some of them. And uh, I do love Zvezda kits, I really, really do. And uh, Paul, being a, 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 a lover of Zvezda, we've added a sort of a, a little bit of a, a, a new two new um, <laughs> sections for the for the group build. The group build was originally going to be anything that is uh, paper pens are basically uh, anything that was never gone into production which is what this is this is my entry for the group build um, so anything that never went into production be it planes, trains, automobiles, tanks uh, anything at all as long as it never went into full production uh, the second one then is any Zvezda kit, any kit at all from Zvezda, and the third one then would be any submarine, any submarine of any kind. That's from midget submarines right up to nuclear-powered submarines, 
uh, and all in between, shall we say. And the reason for the submarines was Paul was uh, in the process of building a submarine at the time, so basically anybody that wants to enter a submarine were finishing off the submarine for Paul. So that's really the info on the group build. Also, we do have uh, two prizes. Um, they're not prizes for best uh, entry or anything like that. What they are is there's going to be two prizes for uh, a sort of, you could call it a raffle, and anybody that finishes the group build, their name will be put into a hat and drawn out first out of the hat will win the uh, a prize sponsored by Zvezda, actually, believe it or not, sponsored by Zvezda. It's uh, the SA-22 Greyhound, which is a fine, fine uh, anti-aircraft system. And the second one then is a flyy thing, a wingy thing. And uh, it was uh, donated by one of our subscribers. But to get more info on that, I'll be putting up a video next week with a total update on the group build. And you can join me this evening on the live show, like I said. And we'll have a little update on that as well, where we'll have a little discussion about it. And if you have any questions, you can ask me on that. So, in the meantime, take care, enjoy your modelling, uh, stay safe and uh, just be nice to one another but most important of all okay the most important thing of this whole thing is to go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it because that's the whole point i'll see you soon on the next one take care